Busman54. We had, uh, let's see, they're calling it straight line winds. Uh, so you see this tree or a branch laying on the garage, on the mudroom, kind of making a left into the house. Yes, exciting night last night here in Iowa. And we got more. Yeah, those are trees that have impaled themselves in our roof. They're in the roof, they go down, 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 through the ceiling and into the first floor. Of course, we had lots of rain come through there too. We've had a lot of trees down. To see you older folks remember that <laughs> kind of dangerous yard game called yard darts where you had the rings and you had a dart and the goal was to hit the circle. Well my yard looked like yard darts full of branches sticking in it like someone shooting arrows up on that roof. Got a few branches, yes indeed. Got more on the roof. Chimney. But the bucket garden. It survived survived and doing fine. All right, back, back in the garage, sitting on the golf cart. Um, you ever try to get ready for something, vacation? Or like our case, a once a year car show in Illinois. So, we're pretty excited because we thought, man, we really planned ahead for this year. We found a used car trailer, so we were going to take, yes, a Volkswagen. First, we decided NASCAR Herbie. Oh, too much work to get them finished up. And they're going to have the original NASCAR Herbie at the show. So, you know, they have my clone and the original thing. We decided to put a barn find, once in a lifetime find that my son found with a 63 beetle. We call him Reuben. He's over here. So there's Reuben. Only 50,000 miles. If you look in the engine compartment, the firewall, it's a little rusted and hot. Well, about 40,000 miles it had an engine fire and it was parked for many years. So the second owner got it, had the motor pulled out and professionally rebuilt. They put the motor in, they didn't take care of any of the rust or burnt paint on the firewall or on the engine deck lid. And they must not have replaced the oil cooler, it's plugged. We were having overheating issues with it. It starts instantly, but it would just get instantly hot. So we got an old oil cooler coming in. So it's like, that's all right, you know. We'll buff it, put the oil cooler on, you know, clean the wheels, the interior's nice. That rear window seal is cracked, brittle from the heat. We have a new one with the chrome ring around it, so we were gonna see if we could replace the window seal before the show. Lot to bite off on, but we figured, what the heck. Well then my golf cart, yeah, I'm sitting in it. So, let me turn you around here. So with the, uh, the show, you know, being almost four football fields big, it's a big show. 
And even if it was a quarter of a football field, <laughs> mm, the muscles in my legs are pretty much gone. So last year I had to rent a scooter, so we picked up this used golf cart. Buzz it around in the fall. It's a Yamaha 79 gas. And uh, boy, Peppy, what a nice new tires, wheels, new seats. Get it out in the spring and the forward reverse solenoids went out. So, yep, found them on Amazon or the internet. Ordered two of them there. You know, didn't want to drop another $170 on it, but they should last forever. We put them in and it's like, okay, let's go test drive this. My son zips around the block, comes back crawling with it. The generator, the bearing cage, and the screws came out and stripped out and got into the fan cooler. And long story short, we need a new generator. Back to the internet. Oh, brand new one, 130 bucks. Problem, we're running out of time shipping. The only way we had a chance of really having this thing ready for the show, if I expedited it with the shipping. It was that, or I spend money renting again. So, yep, paid the 45 bucks to expedite it. It shows up today. So today, big plans. Yeah, we're gonna put the generator in, get this cart taken care of, Tomorrow we'll start working on the beetle and we got a yard full of sticks, weeds, we have two holes through the roof, rainy upstairs, insulation mess. So now we're going to be spending two days cleaning the mess up so the contractor can come in, get an estimate on everything that has to be repaired inside and outside the house from the storm. Good news. First of all, we weren't hurt. Not a scratch on us. It was pretty scary. The other surprise, both of our vehicles, uh, trees were falling all over by him, but none of them on. So his new Camaro, you know, a few little leaves on it. Same with my truck. But all around them are these big branches. That's surprising. Next, the flower garden and the, and the ergo garden that I just planted. You know, still standing like when I left it and planted it. So, some things are in our favor. So waiting for the contractor and they're gonna tarp the roof, get the trees out of the roof and uh, we'll go from there. So this is a little update. Yeah, I gotta get to canning that asparagus too. Um, my daughter said she's gonna come over Saturday, give me a hand with stuff. So that'll be nice. That will really help, be great to see her. So you guys have a safe one. We kind of dodged a bullet here with uh, straight line winds. Um, our trees lost a little weight. Uh, they're a little thinner now. So bus man giving you an update today, I guess after the storm. The irony is last night, yesterday, was the ninth anniversary of the F5 tornado that went through the little town north of us, Parkersburg, Iowa, and wiped the town out, businesses, houses, unfortunately, took a lot of lives. In fact, if you get on YouTube and type in uh, Parkersburg, Iowa, F5 tornado, there is a lot of footage of the tornado, even of it going through a bank and just destroying the bank. Um, of course, that footage isn't something a lot of people want to see, but 
the power and size of that tornado was unbelievable. <laughs> and I was sitting on the porch with my wife, and we're looking out to the north saying, wow, looks like they might really be getting it bad north of us. We had no idea. It was sure windy by us, but nothing like what went through Parkersburg. So how ironic. You know, eighth year anniversary, we get 70 plus mile straight line winds, trees in our house, on our house, but no one hurt. That is the blessing. So, you guys have a good day. I'm going to sit here and relax and wait for the contractor and the tree cutting service and try to get things back to a normal. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, long day. As you can see, no more tree on the roof. No holes in the roof. I had extra two or three bundles of shingles. So the hole in the garage, hole in the house, the two holes to the roof were patched. Uh, the one tree, it's a big one over here, uh, by the driveway there in the corner see yeah that one it's gone it was split it was an ash tree too so we got those things where them ash bores are threatening the trees too so it's probably good that one's gone uh, so, we're ready for another round of storms tonight. Still got a few sticks in the yard to get, but man, everything's back together. So, Busman54, was a pretty exciting Thursday. I can't complain, the homeowner's insurance called the right people in a short order of time. I had tree trimmers in here cutting trees and pulling them out of the house off the roof. I had contractors up on the roof patching the holes and here we are 3.30 and we're ready. House is back in place. Of course, got busted plaster in the ceiling but Rain won't be coming through it tonight. So, Busman54 with a long, exciting day, and it was even a more exciting night. That's it for now. Now I can see if we can get back to the other order of business, getting ready for the car show.